We had this existing asset of a, of a theater downtown. Right now, throughout the nation, we're not seeing many theaters being built these days, so in my mind, it's exciting that here in Fitchburg, we've got this huge project where we're revitalizing a theater that will seat 1,200 people. We're very excited about the theater project. My name is Joe Ferguson. I am the director of In Town Fitchburg, which is our downtown revitalization partnership. And that includes the local institutions of Fitchburg State University, the city of Fitchburg, Fitchburg Art Museum, New View Communities, as well as a growing list of others. And we have strong state support from our colleagues at Mass Development at the state level. We are focused on the downtown revitalization of Fitchburg, not only Main Street, but the entire commercial district, including Boulder Drive. We are very focused in three specific areas. The first of those areas is supporting our small business ecosystem along Main Street and throughout the commercial district. Two, we focus on the public realm of the entire downtown. And then thirdly, we're really focused on events, bringing people downtown as a welcoming gathering space for not just the city of Fitchburg, but the north central Worcester County region. The theater has been here for decades, and it started out as a vaudeville theater. It went through a number of different uses, mainly theatrical still, but for instance, it turned into a cineplex where you could see movies during the 80s. The grand feature is the main theater. What it first looked like, I would say for any old building, such as the theater that has remained basically closed up and vacant for a number of years, the problem is the building code advances even when a project is not being used or underused. The difficulty comes where you're financing a redevelopment in a building that has long been vacant which can present a liability for a downtown, but also an opportunity. No single local institution could do a project like this on their own. Fitchburg realized that a number of years ago and made the great decision to form a partnership with all the local anchor institutions who are responsible and interested in the revitalization of Fitchburg. The university is really interested in turning that into an opportunity, a sustainable opportunity for, the, for not only the community of Fitchburg, but for the region. What kind of really resonated with me when I would do site visits with elected officials from the state who are interested in the investment we're doing is really when we're in that space, in that big theater hall, it basically was just stuck in time. It's almost like they just walked out, turned out the light switch, and locked the door. To see that, just a step back in history, to see old equipment, old technology that was innovative at the time, to see how a theater could have functioned even though I wasn't part of that history, I can still see how it worked and that's inspiring that we're bringing it back. next phase, I think, is where we'll start seeing the more of the wow factors, new paint, new seats, new equipment, and that's where I think we'll really see the vision coming into play. Right now, we've seen it in, in views of renderings of different graphic design elements, uh, but we think we've got the right vision, and we'll be excited to see kind of that fresh new coat of paint.
once we're ready to go. This community, this region, obviously it wants to have a theater. We think the community deserves an asset like this. It's a key cornerstone piece to the overall revitalization of Fitchburg, and we think this will produce more good things to come as well. A lot of the stories I hear is, I remember being in that theater in the 80s and seeing the movie Ghostbusters with my family and they were just good memories. And then I hear feedback from the community before it was a Cineplex. We had some big national and international names come through here. A colleague who works at the university who was born and raised in the area recalls seeing Johnny Cash perform at this theater. That tells me that this was a special place and a destination and the university is adamant about capturing that special place and making it a special place for this town, this city, and this region.